Hey guys, this is Loaf again from DailyBind.com with you here another video and a broken sentence. So, I'm at Lobetown in the Grand Line under the new sailing system right now and there's all sorts of stuff to do here. First of all, it's every single town has these same three things. The Governor Hall, Trade Center, and Bar. The Bar is, exists to help you fill your ship which can be easily done by the one click cost silver no big deal cost more silver every time you do it cost more silver the more food the more durability the more sailors you need and after 15,000 durability has been repaired for the day I have done 4,000 it significantly increases so you saw that 30,000 silver that's gonna turn into like 2 million it gets ridiculous so that's the bar the governor hall this is where all your quest turn-ins are so I'll, I'll explain that in a second as well. Then the Trade Center is just a store. So this is everything I have on my warship, which is all cooking materials. And if I wanted to buy some rice, I would just say I want to buy five rices. Purchase. They're really cheap. Too easy. And as you can see here, it's level restricting me on these two other items. And that's because my boat level is not high enough, which you're about to see as we go sailing. So to sail, we're going to go to leave, and now we are on the Grand Line. So the first thing you need to know about the Grand Line is sailing loops. You want to click sail, oh, warship's not on the sea, warship's not on the sea, yes it is. So when you ever get that message, just go back into town, go back out. Okay, I used some food sitting on the Grand Line, so let's get three food back, go back to the Grand Line and okay we're able to move around so you can actually free click on the grand line and just go through the ocean if you want to but it's still gonna lock you into a path so our objective our first objective on the grand line is to do our loops so a sailing loop tells me to go to little garden governor so I'll just go to it with a button and as you see it changed my direction and pointed me somewhere else not too sure why but anyway it's gonna take me down to little garden where I'm gonna turn in my quest so you should also note that you can either sit here and stare at your boat or you can do other stuff while you're over here you can go ahead and continue some dailies uh, let's do shadow hunting too easy let's do uh... Mm, see if anything's in the shop nope all gold uh, let's do some speed training. Okay, now let's go back to the Grand Line. As you can see, we teleported forward, and in general, people say it moves a little bit faster. So right now, we're passing a newbie adventure. That is a whole zone to get all sorts of prizes, which my other video is on. It's awesome. You definitely want to do those. All you need to do them is these adventure passes that you get from doing the loops. So check out that video if you want to learn more about that and your ship info, which I, I'll click on it real quick just to show you. You can put your crew members in here, but I went over it in another video, so go ahead and look it up if you want to see that. So while we're still going to this island, let's go ahead and check out the cooking section. So you start with bread, and to make bread, you need flour and salt. You need two of each. So you go to... Shimotsuki Village to get flour, which you can buy a hundred if you want. And you go to St. Croix to get salt. Again, you can buy a bunch of it. And once you click start to cook, it just goes on a loop of creating them forever. So we arrived at Little Garden. Our governor welcomes us with some presents. Uh, we'll go ahead to the bar and get ready to sail again. So now that... Oh, I always do that. Okay, we're back on the Grand Line. Okay, we have a sailing loop, cooking loop. Let's see where our sailing wants to go. Back to Logetown. That's pretty close. So we'll just go right back up there. Our cooking loop wants to take us to Drum Island, so that'll be over there and probably have some wacky path line, but we'll see that in a sec. So back to cooking. Uh, after you make enough bread, you get cooking levels. And at level 5, it opens up Takayaki for you, which now costs octopuses that you buy at Orangetown, soy sauce that you buy at Surf Village. 
and yada yada it keeps going up so you get more experience the bigger stuff you make you can actually also use food like bread gives you uh, points of food if you're stuck in the middle of the ocean out of food and if you run out of food you start sailing really slow and it sucks so definitely always want to have food takoyaki and everything above it seems to be a buff that helps you during uh, adventures so that's cool another note about cooking is uh, if you look at my inventory for completing the cooking dailies, you get a cooking book, which apparently makes your critical rate plus 90%, so I would save all your cooking for the day until you have a cooking book, if possible. So I got this chest, which is a random reward, and you can go ahead and use it from here. And I got a warship, cool. These are other rewards that I've gotten. So this is your inventory, this is everything that you get. All the food you make, everything you come across as rewards. The only thing that doesn't go here is the cooking materials that you buy from towns. So okay, here we are pulling into Logue Town. And we'll go ahead and dock, visit X Drake, gain some more experience, another navigation chest. We're gonna refill our boat. And we said we were gonna check out where Drum Island was. Okay, so this is going to take us around this down to Drum Island, and our next sailing loop is Syrup Village. So Syrup Village is up here, so I will be sailing, hopefully, across here. But let's go ahead and see where it passed me out of curiosity. Nope. Yep, it's going to probably make me go all the way back. So let's go back to our original plan. You can try and work it out between the two loops to save as much time, but whatever. The third thing we see here is the popular specialty, and this is just basically delivery. All it's telling you is go buy a fish at Jaya and deliver it to Amazon Lily. And this will give you trading experience, which will allow you to do some of the bigger ones and get more trading experience to ultimately get more rewards. So too easy. And like, like I said again, you're delivering it and what you're doing there is you're selling it because it's going to sell for like double the price and make you silver. So if it's convenient, do it, but generally Amazon Lily, Thriller Bark, those are pretty far away. And just to show you real quick to impede my adventure again, to go to Thriller Bark, it's quite the journey. It's going to make you go all the way down the Grand Line, Calm Belt, around here, etc. So it takes you way out of your way, which you will gain some sailing experience, but whatever. Not really worth it. So that's all the loops. Uh, let's look at the map one more time. You got your adventures, which we talked about. The more adventures you do, the higher adventure levels you can go to. You don't even want to think about the higher level adventures until your boat's more powerful. Stick to the newbie ones. They give plenty of rewards. It's not a big deal. You're not losing progress. And so really the last thing to say about uh, the adventures is, you know, as you can see, I went all the way down to Little Garden because this is my second day of adventures. But generally, you'll move by your level. You'll start just up here, then you'll go over here, then I'll bring you over here. Cage, I guess eventually I'll get over here. And eventually you'll go to the New World and with your high level boat, etc. So the Grand Line's a lot of fun. There's tons of prizes in it. You're getting, you know, 50 gold a day. It's awesome. So as we dock into Drum here, we'll finish it up. We'll arrive. We'll try to forcefully arrive. As you can see, same three things again. Go to our bar. get our rewards from Dalton and then we'll just go right back to the Grand Line keep doing our loops sometimes you gotta wake it up a little bit and click it a little few more times but no big deal so you finish those up get your rewards do your adventures and this is just a great system to waste time it really is <laughs> so guys I'm Loaf hope you enjoyed the video hope you learned something hope you're not frustrated like I was my first day I was a total noob and I had no idea what was going on so I was actually pretty excited to make this video. So good luck out there. Thanks for watching.